Hi sailors! Now I have a story about St. Herman of Alaska. St. Herman was born in Serpukov in the Moscow Diocese of the Orthodox the Moscow Diocese of the Orthodox Church. And that was in the year 1756. Around the or once he turned 16, around that age, he began his monastic life at the Trinity Sergius Hermitage near St. Petersburg, Russia. So at 16 years old, St. Herman already started trying to become a monk. Or what he did become, he started. So while he was at the hermitage, Herman developed a severe infection on the right side of his throat. And it almost brought him to the point of death. In the story, it said that the infection was so bad he could hardly open his mouth like that and that it changed the shape of his face and he had a lot of pain and he was really sure he was going to die. So he wrapped um, a, a wet cloth around his neck because he put the cloth um, at the icon when he was praying to the Theotokos. He fell asleep. While he was asleep, St. Herman dreamed that he was healed by the Virgin. So he woke up and he was completely healed. Then he remained at the Trinity Sergius Hermitage for five more years. After that, he moved to the Valam Monastery at Lake Ladoga. Again, this is in Russia. So in 1793, Saint Herman, with several other monks, was sent by, the, by Russia to the Alaskan missionary field. So after a journey of nearly a year, the little band of eight monks arrived on Kodiak Island on September 24th, 1794. Um, around 1818, St. Herman left Kodiak and went to Spruce Island, which he named New Valam. So it had a similar name to the monastery he was at in Russia. While St. Herman was at New Valam, he cared very little for himself. He wore old, simple clothing, and he ate very little. In his free time, he spent a lot of time praying and singing all the services that he was allowed to do as a monk. St. Herman continued to grow in his love for the native people on the island, because at the island, he wanted to help bring other people to God. So he interacted with the natives. And so on Spruce Island, he saw them as newly born children in the faith. Because they were new to becoming Christians, they were like babies. And he had to take special care of them. He had to guide them and teach them. And he had a special love for his spiritual children. Teaching them and giving them all the, the delicacies that he made because he would cook for them. During his time that he was on the island, there was a ship from the United States that brought an epidemic. It brought the epidemic to the Alaskans, and hundreds of them died. They got sick. But they weren't alone. St. Herman remained with them, always caring for them and praying for them, and he brought comfort to those who were dying. Later on, the natives recognized that St. Herman was very holy. They turned to him for help, believing that he was an intercessor for God, that he was able to help them. Once, one time on the island, there was a great tidal wave threatening the island, and the people came to St. Herman for help. St. Herman took an icon of the Holy Theotokos and placed it on the ground. He said, have no fear. The water will not go any higher than the place where this holy icon stands. And it did not. That's a pretty cool story. St. Herman of Alaska. The Holy Theotokos healed his throat and she helped protect the island from the tidal waves so that they wouldn't be flooded. So remember, to be like St. Herman, 
and to call on the Holy Theotokos when you need help. Bye, sailors!